going to African parties and I was always in the middle, you know, doing my COSA. Then all of a sudden she started doing my COSA. I'm like, girl, we can start doing this then. Some ladies, the minute they start seeing their period, they start taking folic acid and omega oil. Your friend will never ever copy, like want to be exactly like you. I think we're like coordinating, guys. <laughs> oh, you yeah. got everything. Hey, we got like, mustard in the building. I like it. I like. I like this dress. I like this suit. It's, it's looking very snazzy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look you look amazing. You Thank you. I, feel, I love your earrings. I feel like Rihanna in this. In her work, 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 work. <laughs> I, it's giving me that vibe. Yeah. Okay. You look. You look great. I love you your crazy. earrings. Thank you. And I love the hair. Thank you. And your face is looking really snatched. What's the secret? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> guys, right. you guys are so funny. Okay, so welcome to Girls Uncut. Girls, I want to talk about this scenario which a lot of people are very familiar with. You wake up in the morning, everything looks great, you say your prayers, things are going as planned, and then, you know, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, something bad just happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when things like that mm -hmm. happen, it could, be, it could be that you lost your job, mm -hmm. it could be that you lost you know, someone really close to you, it could be that you've been, you had been hoping to get something and then mm -hmm. you just didn't get it. So ladies, how do you make the best out of a bad situation? Just mm -hmm. let it go. You know, try to find like a good um, alternative thing to do. Or, you know, just look at the brighter side of things. Maybe that thing wasn't meant to happen. So just, you know, move on, you know, because if you dwell on it, it's not going to change the history. It's not going to change anything. You can't go back to fix it. So just let things just cool out and then focus on other things that make you happy and, like, keep the time being being a positive one. Mm -hmm. Well said, well said. I want to share something that I went through. Yeah. So when I was in secondary school, there was this um, party that we had when we were in our final year. Mm. My friend had a party and we all went. And you know what happened? They started fighting at the party. Secondary school guys, like from different secondary schools, and they started throwing bottles. So all the girls ran out. It was like 10.30 at night. It was me, my friend, and her cousin. And you know, there were so many ladies scattered on the road. It was in Ikoi, in Lagos on Glover Road, I can never forget, the party was at Glover Court back then. And you know, we all ran into the streets and we're just running helter skelter. And you know, these three guys just came out of nowhere. This was like 10 in the night. Wow. And we're talking about secondary school girls. Mm. And you know, three guys just came and they held on to each of us. Wow. Like one held me, the other, like three of us had guys holding us. And then they started pulling us into like this really dark street. Oh my God. Yeah, but then he, honestly, like everybody was screaming, people were running, bottles were flying, guys were shouting, girls were screaming. And mm -hmm. you know, that was like the way people were running. But then wow. other people didn't have people holding them. But then it looked as if we were with the guys. Okay, so anybody okay. that saw us with the guys, you know, holding us would have thought maybe we came with them and we were leaving okay. with them. You guys weren't so, screaming? Well, we were like, ah, you know how you're, you're struggling. Okay. You're but then it was quite dark. Okay. And then we were, you know, there were times when I would take, remove my hand and run and then the guy would hold me again. Wow. Uh, yeah, and then we did this all the way to the main road. Like the guys were holding, the, in fact, they my friends were some really holding. strong guys. Yeah, but we don't know what they wanted to do with us. And they were young guys. They were not oh. like older guys. So we got to the main road where cars were passing and a car just stopped. Thank God. It was my friend's car. Like, it was one of our friends wow. that was at the party. Oh, wow. Her older brother was driving. He stopped to buy cigarettes. Wow. Hmm. So there were, like, four people already at the back, somebody in front. And as soon as they saw us, they were like, Arika, what are you girls doing? Who are these guys? And you know what the guys did? The, the one we meet went to meet the guy driving and said, 
we wanted to take these girls to the beach. Where do you want to take them to? You're Can you kidding. honestly? So we just, like I don't even know how oh. I I dove into the car. Like you know how you just <laughs> dive in, and like eight of us were at the back, yeah. and you know we were crying. We we're that's like, oh so my god! Scary. I mean, you know that's how people get raped. Yes. So imagine if we got there and we didn't see our helpers, and the guys maybe got a taxi really and us. pushed us in. You know, yeah. or something had happened. Mm. So that was a really bad situation. In fact, this is my first time of talking about it. And I, you know, I really feel yeah. some type of oh, that's way. That's so terrifying. Mm -hmm. Scary. That's I didn't tell my mom, scary. so my mom is probably watching and <laughs> seeing this. Yes. Like bad girl. I don't know. One of them even stole my friend's mom's watch. My friend was wearing her mom's watch, and the guy hit That's her hand and snatched it. He just snatched the <laughs> watch, and he now held her hand again. I'm sure she would have run into big trouble with her very mom. Big, very she would have, she would have had to tell her we, mom. We, we got into trouble because we all got home yeah. very late. We were grounded, all of us. Good. Got into okay. big Good. Yeah. I'm glad so you guys can be safe <laughs> in the house. That's very scary. I would have screamed. Mm -hmm. Shouted, I would have been fighting. Well, you know the thing about screaming, there was nobody to help. So we were just like, ah, leave us. But you know, now thinking back about it, we should have screamed like, ah. Yeah. But then if, you, if we had screamed, the road was dark, there was nobody. But thank God they didn't even do anything to us mm -hmm. on that road. Because there was no car passing. Oh, no, we could just see the main road in front. No. But then there were people running around, you so they wouldn't have, have tried. Scream, mm. God forbid. Well, like, because ah, I remember there was this one time my tire got spot on third mainland bridge mm. and then you know we were stranded it was daylight like broad daylight so the driver at the time was trying to get someone to help him pick the car i was trying to do you know damsel in distress oh please somebody help me <laughs> and next thing i know i saw two guys helping him fix the tires and i was like okay well thank god so i went to the car and next thing guys were like hey, madame go set to us home 30 that's on night what i was like hey Hey, I just went to get to a dev, the evil girl in I said, what 10,000 people are watching? I was even hitting the car, like I see if I would be there. They said, if you do any, I will throw you for this bitch. What? I just ran to the middle of 10 million. I was like, help, help. The minute they saw me doing that, they just they took off. They just took off. But before then, I had already put all the money that I had in the car under the carpet. Okay. Change. Not even like, well, big money. I don't move around with money. Don't come after me. <laughs> Big girl. Yeah. <laughs> Just put the little chain that I had under the carpet and went. I was like screaming when they saw that I did that. They took off. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Like when it comes to making the best out of a bad situation. You just realize that that's what life is really about. Mm -hmm. Most times, like, crazy stuff gets thrown at you. Like, take, for instance, even Beyonce. Next thing, she's serving us lemonade. So when bad things happen to you, they, they always say that bad things happen to good people. I don't know. I don't believe it. God forbid bad things. Mm -hmm. But when bad things happen, we need to learn to make the best out of every situation and mm -hmm. find the beautiful part of broken pieces. Like, I saw this video one time it went viral it trended a bit so they said the chinese people often you know don't just throw broken objects away whenever a ceramic or a beautiful china where it gets broken they actually piece it up together and they use gold to it's not, they don't just use glue they use gold to piece it up together okay. so that thing that was actually broken turns into a very beautiful masterpiece mm -hmm. and that's just like you know the the same principle we need to learn to apply to life like one time when something really crazy happened to me and i i bumped into that video it helped me like crazy it just mm -hmm. helped me think that okay maybe God is shaping me and molding me into this beautiful masterpiece. And mm -hmm. I just need to embrace myself and embrace it. Because, like you said, when you think and re keep reflecting on your past, you have a lot of regrets. But you know what? I think we need to take a quick break because I'm getting very emotional right now. Girls on Cut will be right back, okay? Now, if you want to share anything or you want to be part of this conversation, do use the hashtag Girls on Cut or go to our Instagram and Twitter platforms. We are at Girls on Cut underscore. Don't go anywhere because me and my ladies will be right back. Hello, hello, and welcome to Girls Uncut. We're still here, your favorite girls. My name is Chinanso. I've got with me Arike hey. and beautiful Beverly. Together, we are talking about those crazy things that happen and how you're able to, 
you know, make the best out of an ugly situation. Now, be sure to join the conversation at Girls on Cut underscore on Instagram and Twitter. We'll be waiting for those comments. Share those crazy times when you had to deal with an ugly situation, an ugly breakup, an ugly loss or whatever it is. And we'll be waiting. We really want to read those comments. Over to you, Arike. Oh. Hmm, ladies. When life throws you lemons, instead of crying over spilled milk and things like that, you make lemonades out of those lemons. Mm -hmm. So for me, I would say that you know, if life throws you anything, you have to rec you have to realize that you have to be strong. Mm -hmm. This is you. You are the person involved. You have to be strong for you. Nobody's gonna be strong for you. Mm -hmm. No matter how much people come around you and say, oh, things are gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. If you lose that strength, then you lose you. So you have to realize that you have to be strong mm -hmm. and you also have to recognize that you're in a bad situation and recognize that you have to get yourself out, out of that, of that situation. situation. You need to pick yourself mm -hmm. up. I mean, it sounds so easy the way I'm saying it, but then the minute you realize that this is your life, your life is at stake mm -hmm. and you want to be alive and you want to be okay, then you begin to understand that you have to, you know, fix whatever it mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. that, um, you know, you're going through. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. It's so hard. It's, it's not, not easy. It's not it's easy, not. but at the same time, it's sweet because once you finally cry boohoo or you get over that situation and then you look on the brighter side of things and then you make a plan and and you you think about like okay what can I do to make things better yeah. for myself just in case like something bad happened to you and it really just brought you down but how can I pick up myself so look for things that will make you happy look for things that will, you can put your passion all that anger yeah. to and good energy to yes. and make it into something great like for me i mean i had like a little troubling relationship before but then i didn't just sit down and then beat myself up and like blame myself or just feel sorry for myself what i did was i made a plan and i stuck to the plan i moved from houston to nigeria and I mean, Nigeria showed me some pepe. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand the meaning of shine your eyes, but I, I shine my eyes well, you know. I was so naive. I thought, like, I was so naive. I was so naive when I got here. But I was on a mission, and I'm the type to not give up. Like, mm -hmm. once I set this plan for myself, I keep going. I don't look to the left, I don't look to the right, mm -hmm. and I don't look to the back. I just keep on going until I finish that thing that I started that mm -hmm. I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So just pick mm -hmm. yourself up and keep going. There's going to be road bumps. There's going to be... Um, things that will stop you. There's going to be distractions from the enemies. You don't even know where your enemies are, but there's mm -hmm. people who are rooting for you mm -hmm. not to yes. win. Yes. You know, the ones that are rooting for you to win, you know, God bless them, but there's a lot that doesn't want you to get up. They want to even make fun of you, like, ah, ah, hey, how does this girl keep moving? Mm -hmm. So you got to keep yes. moving, you got to yes. keep pushing, and don't just sit down feeling sorry for yourself because mm -hmm. that's so ugly and annoying. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, look at I us, we're powerful party, women you know? right here. We're yeah. doing something. We're giving a voice to ladies who don't have a voice. We're probably saying things that you guys are thinking. So don't yeah. just settle and sit down. Push through. That little thing that you said that I wanted to do that is just there. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it, um, do, do it, it, do it, do it. And they don't do even it. know what we've been through. I always yeah. say this. We don't look like what we've been through. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Whatever hey. it is that you're going through, mm. glow through what yes. you're going through. Yeah, I like that. Don't let them laugh at you. Right. Don't slay through it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Still slay, baby, slay. Mm -hmm. so and always still smile. Look, still look amazing. You know, mm -hmm. someone said if you want to cry, cry in a Bugatti. <laughs> cry in a fancy okay. car. You know, like even when people want to see you looking sad, you know, mm -hmm. you have to shame the devil. Mm -hmm. My sister, you have to pick up yourself. Yes. and Because everybody's watching. When people see you going through pain, mm -hmm. they want to see, okay, how is this girl going to do it? Mm -hmm. Good for her. Mm -hmm. you know and so at that point it's like you know i did a post one time i was like when life serves you pepper you one pepper, pepper them soup. gang mm -hmm. make pepper soup or father sauce <laughs> or you make pepper rest <laughs> i like the last one you have to one. make pepper rest That's like you know one. because nothing nothing prepares you more than a setback hmm. for a comeback mm -hmm. you know it's so true. nothing prepares you more because when you're when you have a setback, it's like a setup for an amazing comeback. So mm -hmm. at that moment, you need to own it. You need to own your pain. Mm -hmm. You need own to it. own your story. You need to accept it. Because I went through this crazy experience. Like, 
you know, you all know. You yeah. Know, you know. And at that point, I didn't want to own it. Like, people mm. were like, okay, Ludo, oh. my God forbid. Like, I was still rejecting it. Do you get what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it's a good thing because you don't want to be the face of widowhood. You don't mm -hmm. want to be the face of that thing. Mm -hmm. So I, I rejected it initially. Like I was still doing casting and biting and everything. But after a while, I was like, okay, this has happened. Mm -hmm. okay. Because I was in denial. I think that's what it was. I was Aww, in denial too. for a long time. How could time. you even... <laughs> We should have a group right now. I can't even tell anything happened. I feel like we should have a group like, right now. Like, like, group like, group okay, right group hugs. You know, so, like, you're like, such an encouragement, like, an inspiration. Mm -hmm. Like, seriously, mm -hmm. like, I can't even tell. You're so young, and, like, I can Im imagine. I can't even put myself in your shoes. Like, like more power to know. you. Like, like, like more power crazy. to and you. And I was like, oh, my goodness. Is this what widows have to go through mm. in Nigeria or in Africa? Like, it's just depressing mm. do you feel like nobody cares or do you feel yeah, like because first off this is the person that you love right and he's gone like you shared your life together you shared your dreams together you shared aspirations and then the next thing you feel alone like even mm. when you have million a million and one people coming to see you you still feel isolated you still mm. feel alone like you can't even communicate like for mm. a while it seemed like my brain wasn't really processing things mm. I'm just like okay you guys should just do and go so i can cry mm. to myself because i yeah. i hate pity parties so it's it like just when you cry it was like sorry don't cry you know mm. and you're like okay you don't even want people to keep telling you sorry don't cry so just everybody just go mm. then i can cry in peace and you know mm. i didn't even know how to reach out to you because i was like wait hold on is that china so and you know how to put two and two together and i was like oh my gosh this is this girl who even reached out to me to be on your show yeah you that one time mm -hmm. and I'm, i didn't know how to come and like dm you or i didn't want to feel like annoying because you know i don't know what to say to mm. you so i'm not even going to pretend like a hey, uh, or my condolences you know because maybe you don't want to hear that at that time mm -hmm. so when you reached out to me i was like oh okay so do i say um yes. You know, yeah. I didn't know what to say. Like till now, yeah. I don't even know what to say. I feel like this is a, a, a best, a great moment for yeah. me to say. Like I'm like so sorry that you even go through that because I can imagine, girl. Oh, like I was like, gosh, I, oh, girl, you're so strong. And she's the sweetest girl ever. Yes, oh my goodness. like she's like, like, how I, do you do it, girl? Hey, girl, like you're it, so strong. She's, she's, she's a strong woman. You're power so to you. Strong. Like power you're so. To you, Nanso. You're, you're so she's like the strongest powerful girl woman ever. <laughs> And you know the thing about Africa, I, I find that, you know, people want to say things like, hey, yeah, uh, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. They don't want to see you shine. They don't want to see you glow. I feel that people, people are more comfortable having you, you know, in a sad place. Yeah. As against, you know, seeing you, you know, glow. Look at Nonso right now. She's right. so pretty. She looks yes. good. I saw her when everything happened. And, you know, for a year, you know, it, it's, it's, been, it's been a long time, for so long, she looked that way. And now she's trying to get the pieces of her life back right. together. But you know, there's still some people who will come and judge and see you and say, oh, she's too fine. She's this, but girl, leave your life. And you're living leave it. Leave your life and you're living it. And you're looking good. Mm -hmm. I feel like that right now. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Mm. Uh. So you guys, oh I know God. this is a very touching moment for us right now. You guys can join in the conversation. Let us know what you think, you know. I mean, this is a great episode, a very dramatic one. And so we're just so happy that you guys are here to see the realness of Girls Uncut. Nothing is scripted. It's just real emotions. And you with... I'm with two lovely ladies. Oh my gosh, you guys don't make me cry, but you guys join in the conversation at girls on cut underscore Twitter and Instagram, and we'll be right back after this. Oh, oh my God. Oh, she's so, oh my God, this is so much to do. Oh. It's still girls uncut, and she knows so I had to take a break, but we'll continue with the questions that we usually do from our lovely audience today. And um, our question is from Amber, and she says, hello, ladies of uncut. I just want to give a shout out to Beverly, oh, for me, for being so real and honest when I speak. And she says that she needs help in being honest with people, but without hurting their feelings. How can she do that? <laughs> She needs to understand, what's her name? Ember. Ember, you need to understand that, you know, people have feelings 
And I'm happy that you recognize the fact that, you know, you want to be honest without hurting people's feelings. So once you recognize that, then you know that you have to be careful what you say to people. Now, some people feel that, you know, they, they say everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Yes, you are. But when your opinion is about someone else, you also have to be very careful because very you don't want to you know, come across as being a bad person mm -hmm. by hurting them with your words. Mm -hmm. Let your words heal. Let your words add positivity. Yes. Don't let your words kill people. So, you know, you just have to be very careful in choosing the right words. And, you know, you can be honest without being hurtful. Yes, it's very mm -hmm. true. Very true. I try to really watch what I say at times. I know sometimes I could come off being like very blunt but at the same time i don't want to hurt anybody's feelings and i hope that i don't hurt anybody's feelings and if i have i hope that you guys will accept this apology and as i say i'm sorry oh that's so sweet yeah. okay girl then i guess it's time to go social Yay, let's yeah. go. okay so we have a picture of the day um i bumped into this picture online and it's a very crazy one so it has this bald-headed guy with you know facial expression like he's crying and then it has this caption that says when you try to pull off that little piece of skin next to your finger and it bleeds so which I part think of a lot of people can identify with it you know how you have those you know how you have okay. they, say, they say it's caused by you know not eating properly okay lack of eating properly or whatever okay. so you have it by your side and then you know sometimes you just put it okay in okay and then you cut have it. any of and those then it just bleeds i don't have anything god but there was okay. a time i used to oh, have, I it. have it can one. be here it can be here as well it's okay. so annoying like yeah and it's sweet to bite like you just see it and you <laughs> just want to so bite true. it and then you bite it and then it's it so you're like oh my god it's so yeah it's so painful but if you do it like really fast and then it bleeds and it's what? like the yeah. worst pain ever honestly like you're not, I, you're not even supposed to touch it i think you're supposed to just leave it to let it grow <laughs> and it looks so ugly it doesn't to look heal clean. Or something. it's like see a i have wound. a little one like Gee. right here oh yeah, yeah that's one. Oh, so i just i feel like pulling it out i'm just gonna mm, sweet <laughs> i'm just joking <laughs> it's so sweet just joking I mean, yeah but you know on that note i think it's time to end the show thank you so much for watching and please keep our sister nonso in your prayers She's such a strong woman. She's been through so much. And, you know, you saw what happened on Girls on Cut. We're very real. We're very honest. We're not fake. We don't fake it. We're the realest girls ever. Make sure you follow the conversation on Instagram and Twitter at Girls on Cut underscore. And let us know how you have had to make the best out of a bad situation. Because a lot of us have been in bad situations. But then we are strong and we always get out of those situations. As I said earlier on, we don't look like what we've been through, girl. Exactly. We don't. So glow through what you go through. Beverly, anything else to add? Yes, yeah, so we just love you guys. Continue to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at girls uncut underscore. And we will always see what you guys are doing. Hashtag girls uncut. And you guys, we see you next time. Yeah. Bye. We love you.